What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> I am, uh, we're gonna pick right back up where we left off. This one's gonna be a nice one. Um, this one is a big, big mission. I remember this one. Um, it'll probably take, uh, the whole episode and we will, uh, might die. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, this one could be a long one. This is a really cool one. I got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archibus Group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archibus subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. <coughs> Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Hmm. Time for a little self promotion, six two one. Might could have grabbed the cannon, but oh well. And Archivus <laughs> HQ will be sure. You're on it.
Now I gotta find the generators. Generators. So go up here. Okay, so I got one. Okay. Um, hang on. Can I go down? What's this? Yeah, I'll go down here. I think this is the right way to do this. That's a generator, I believe. I don't know where the other ones are. Let's see. Oh, there's a thing there. Let me go. That's a trampoline thing or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think I thought there was one under here. We're losing the shield, sir. Just one left. One the left. The of our war. Hold the line. Oh, the Duh. it's got the targets on the screen. I'm an idiot. Okay.
All right. Oh man, I can't walk through there. It looks like I can walk through there. Perfect. Left shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. All sub generators destroyed. The ice shield is offline. Head to the front segment and hit the target. Yeah, that wasn't smart for me. Oh man, that's awesome. That's a fun mission.
one new message. Raven, your work on the Strider deserves commendation. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. Emblem acquired. Okay. Don't really care about the emblems, but we'll take it. Training, new parts. Oh, what do we get for parts? Shotgun. Okay. What's the. Okay. What is this? Laser rifle. Blah blah. Plasma. Yeah, that one's pretty good. AOE, I like the AOE. Plasma missile launchers. <laughs> That's nice. Vertical missile launcher. Eight cell vertical missile launcher developed by Furlong. And then it's high vertical trajectory, allows missiles to deny enemies cover and circumvent such defenses. Yeah, so you go over the stuff. And I guess the difference is between that one and wait, the plasma one, this one. What? I'm gonna want that one for sure. Are these guided? That might be what I want. We'll see. Okay, yeah, I could get them on both if I want, but I don't want both. Let me get some more legs so I don't get overburdened. Let's go back to the design. Let's put our legs on. Oh. I thought I got legs. I got arms. Oh no, I'm going to sell those back. I didn't want that. Let's go sortie. It's a new training. How much time we got? We're on 20 minutes. We got that, that didn't take near as long as I thought it would. 
Um, I thought I was gonna die a couple times. So training, we'll go to the training. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons to both hands. This is known as double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable place and are suited for taking multiple enemies at once. Hold R2 and... okay. I bet you could rotate them though, I bet it would be even better, right? Because you never give somebody... I could imagine you. Alright, is that better? Or hold them both down? The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. This AC is fitted with boosters that have a short QB reload time spec. Okay, yeah. This generator you're installing your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance of the AC. This AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boosts. Hold X to extend. Okay. This FCS fire control system installed on the AC affects targeting, tracking, close, medium, and long range missile lock on and slash multi lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its high firepower weapons. Use the left shoulder weapon, okay? Weapon and selection of parts used to assemble an AC determine the ideal combat range and style. The AC is equipped with four ranged weapons to specialize in concentrated fire at medium range. Hold R2 and L2 rapid fire both hand weapons. R1 right shoulder weapon. L yeah, okay, I know that. This is just like this. I'm gonna get close to it and do this one. Ooh, it's like a shotgun almost. Parts obtain a booster and a whatever that is, a chip. Um, what was it? Um, It wasn't a power core, was it? Energy something, maybe? No, the generator, that's what I was thinking of. It was the other thing. Um, uh, FCS. Oh, that's the targeting and stuff.
I actually get the parts? Am I just able to buy them? Was a, I'm not really hurting. So I got other stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, because I got the that. Who speed? It's very slight. Uh, this looks like a much better one, actually. It's a little bit heavier. I think I'm going to take this booster. Let's do the last training and then we'll wrap up. <clears throat> Reverse joint leg units excel at jumping and can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boost. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume EN, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats and shifts. X jump. Okay. The left shoulder grenade cannon on this AC fires explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. Yep, okay. Weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict, kinetic, explosive, and energy. Yep, 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 yep. Energy weapons produce heat when fired when this ultimately results in overheating, okay? Don't let it overheat. Got it. Ricocheting will occur when the enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take, okay? Oop, I didn't know you had a counteractive, but well. I just put on kicking the spell.
cannon is bad. I don't really care for the laser stuff, but those those explosions are nice. All right, <clears throat> that will do it for this episode. We'll end here. Um, next episode, what do we do? Where do we go? We go wall climber. <clears throat> this is a big one. This is the last mission that I. Uh, fault in and beat I beat this mission I did not uh, go any farther than this mission here so once we get past this next episode uh, it'll all be fresh alright let's uh, wrap up thanks for joining see you next time <laughs>